I like to travel when I can and when I do, I like to bring the current games I'm playing with me because why not? Trust me, you'll find a lot of time to play at airports. So here are the tech essentials I bring with me when traveling abroad or locally to relax, work, and play. None of these are sponsored sadly, but liking the video will make me smile or something. The first item I bring is also the most important one, which is my electric shaver. Nah, not really. It's my heavyweight laptop, the Legion 5i, which if you subscribe to my channel, I may be able to replace it this year. I do all my video editing and gaming on this machine, which I still find extremely heavy, especially with the charger included. The GPU went kaput, but luckily it's still under warranty, so Lenovo replaced the GPU in less than two weeks. Nice. I don't know what my next laptop will be, but I won't be surprised if it's another one from Lenovo. I place it to probably the best laptop stand I have used so far, but since they didn't pay me or have an affiliate link to share, I'll show you my main laptop stand which I use for years, which is still from next stand. Unfortunately, it's not adjustable and people are worried that I will get restrained from it, but so far, I haven't. It folds up to a travel size tick thing that came with a traveling bag which doesn't take much space inside my bag. One thing that takes up space though is this hard case that I put my Insta360 Flow in. If you're wondering how I shoot myself, wait, let me rephrase that. If you're wondering how I record myself, well, I use the AI tracking feature of this thing, which can also do cool shots like this, or this, or even this. If you find this awesome, there's a dedicated review of it on my channel. I also use another product from Insta360 to get other creative shots which most cameras can't achieve. My favorite feature is having it as a necklace and recording POV shots with it, making my two hands free to do other shit, like petting this random cat in a store in Thailand. Another one is putting it on an extendable mini tripod and just recording drone-like footage. Well, sorta. I'm not that tall. One of the few things I'm trying out this year is bringing a flashlight with me or a torch. Apparently, everyone is using one and luckily, a brand called Urkos sent me one. Yes! which came straight from Uzbekistan? I don't know what they're cooking in Tashkent, but thanks Uzbeks. Wow, 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 Uzbekistan. So far I haven't used it because, but it's packed with features which most of them headache inducing. The glow in the dark feature is pretty neat though, I'll tell you that. I put it inside my tech pouch along with my power bank and this tube thing that houses several adapters, a SIM ejector tool, SIM and micro SD card slot, and a USB-C to USB-C cable. I don't bring a keyboard with me, but I do bring my mouse and mousepad from Razer, which is more than enough for editing and FPS games like Rainbow Six Siege and Valorant. If you think the mousepad is too small, just remember this. It's not the size, but the performance. I also bring this wrist rest as well, which I highly recommend for anyone using a mouse for long periods. If it's not an FPS game, why bother using a mouse and a keyboard? I use my Xbox Series X controller to play games like Pacific Drive, which I also recommend for you to try out if you are tired of the same games being released with just a different name. The gameplay is a breath of fresh air. I don't bring this with me, but I charge it at home using a charging stand from Razer, and yeah, you can use a cable to charge it too. With my audio, I used to bring my Black Shark V2 Pro, but to save some space, I use an IEM from Truthier that has its own traveling bag paired with a microphone from Rode which I put on a small tripod for my phone. I wanted to add this 3-in-1 charger to my inventory but sadly, it's specifically made for Apple users. It can charge Android phones and other earbuds but obviously, the MagSafe feature won't work and it won't charge my Samsung smartwatch. Someone please make a version for Samsung. Lastly, I guess, is the smart ring from Ultra Human. Because of this thing, I stopped bringing my smartwatch to wear this instead. It tracks pretty much everything my smartwatch tracks except, of course, it doesn't tell the time or show you your emails, obviously, which apparently I have to explain to people. But since you removed your smartwatch, you can wear a regular ass watch now. Duh, check the time there, dipshit. All of these I put in this bag, which I don't recommend for people to buy. No, not my cabana backpack from the North Face, which I put my clothes on, but inside my Fjall Raven High Coast tote bag. I bought this bag because it is foldable and serves as a just-in-case bag that can fit in my main bag. It has no structure whatsoever and I can barely fit a water bottle on the side pockets. Most people wouldn't like it but for me, it's perfect. Yeah, I'm a weirdo. 
I put a piece of carton. How do you pronounce that in English? Carton? Cardboard? Anyway, I slide it inside so my bag has a structure when I remove my laptop. I can also hook stuff outside and use this awesome carabiner from Gear Aid to hook other things like my rice hat and it doubles as a hook to hang your stuff on tables or whatever. Well, those are my tech essentials when I leave my place to touch some grass. Oh, and I also bring a Kindle sometimes. I brought these items to my recent trip to Cambodia, Thailand, and the Batangas province here in the Philippines. It's not the best loadout, but it works for me. Thanks for watching, and subscribe, I guess.